Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so you will never miss any new update. Whenever we upload a new video, you will get a notification on your phone. In this edition of IBC and Stars, we take a close look at the success of Mr. Kadiresan Annamalai, founder chairman of Shiva Foods. Kadiresan Annamalai was born to K. R. Annamalai Chettiar and Chinnamma Lachi in 1961. He was an illustrious student and completed his B.Tech in Chemical Engineering from Regional Engineering College, Trichy, and his M.Tech in Chemical Engineering from IIT Madras. His paternal grandfather, Pulangkurichi K. R. S. A. Karupan Chettiar, had established a carbon black factory in Rainy Kunta. Upon completing his education, Kaduresan moved to Renikunta to work in his grandfather's business. It was a well-established operation with close involvement of other family members. This limited the growth potential of Kaduresan. So he shifted to Madurai and started a consumer goods distribution business in 1985. He grew the distribution business with the help of his dad. Kaduresan learned the nuances of consumer goods business while distributing for other brands. He had a strong technical background in chemical engineering and was always on the lookout for opportunities to get into manufacturing. In 1995, he set up Shiva Chemicals to manufacture leather chemicals and tanning agents. This involved supplying to tanneries on credit lending to high working capital requirements. So he did not scale up the business in a big way. In 2006, Kadiresan was in Singapore with his family. While visiting Penang Murugan Temple, he took a detour to visit a confectionery manufacturing unit. It was love at first sight. His technical abilities and size of the growing consumer market in India gave him the confidence that he could build this business to scale in India. Fortunately for Kadiresan, the Malaysian factory had a few machineries for sale and ventured to help set up the unit. In 2007, Kadiresan launched Shiva Foods with a primary focus on making jellies and puddings. Today, Shiva Foods has two manufacturing units, one in Madurai and a second one in Badi, Himachal Pradesh, with a combined manufacturing capacity of 10,000 tons per annum. Starting with jellies and puddings, Shiva Foods now has a diversified range of confectionery products, including lollipops, chocolates and wafers. The company employs about 600 people and nearing 100 crore in annual turnover. Thanks to Kadiresan's perseverance, and business acumen, Flubber's Jelly is available in every nook and corner of the country and is the predominant jelly brand in South India. Vasant, Kadiresan's son, is now modernizing sales and marketing at Shiva Foods and preparing the company for future milestones. He takes care of expanding Flubber's presence across other regions. The scale of Kadiresan's success and challenges can be gauged by looking at his competitors. Confectionery segment in India is dominated by global giants like Nestle, Cadbury, Perfitti Van Mill, Hershey's, etc. The deep-pocketed competition spends huge amounts of money in advertising and brand building, thereby creating disproportionate consumer awareness and demand for their products. Traditional Indian food brands have had only limited success in holding off against these multinational competitors. In this sector, the Kadiresan has identified a niche high-quality products and launched them taking entrenched competitors head-on. Every Nagarathar youngster wanting to build a consumer brand, particularly in packaged foods, should learn from Kadiresan and make sure to get the sales and marketing strategies correct. Kadiresan has a well-planned schedule. He starts his day at 5.30 am in the morning and walks for about 4 kilometers. He then reads four newspapers to stay in touch with global news flow. He divides the rest of the day between office work and factory management. While he takes care of administration and production, his son Vasant shoulders the sales and marketing responsibilities. In 12 years, Kadiresan Annamalai has built a 100 crore business. Many would be content to rest on the laurels, but Kadiresan is busy preparing for even faster growth. Ably assisted by his son Vasant, Kadiresan is strengthening his team by adding seasoned professionals from modern trade. Their mantra is to grow the brand slowly and create demand, so that supermarkets would willingly come forward to stock flubbers and offer it to their customers. To create a consumer brand in India is not an easy task. 
to create one in 12 years is a great milestone. Team IBCN wishes Kadires and Annamalai all the very best for his future endeavors.